Hey folks, today at Midwest Outdoors, we are out of Lake Michigan. We're out with Dumper Dan. We're chasing some coho salmon. Got a beautiful morning going early in the season. Looking to put some fish in the cooler. Number one. Good job, Zach. Way to go. It's one of the first fish of the season. We're out here shaking things down with Dumper, getting it ready for a nice long fishing season. One of many fish that are going to come in the boat this year for Dumper Dan like they do every year. The coho run is on. They're here early. Um, it's early May. Uh, looking forward to catching uh, quite a few more of these. These are fun to catch, so good to eat, and a uh, good time out here. Flat calm, gorgeous morning. Coming really? in quick, Greg. <laughs> it's coming in fast. Alex is on the net. This one. Coho salmon, buddy. Yep. Way to go. Yep. <laughs> That's what we're here for. We just snagged the alewife. That's kind of the magic to Lake Michigan right there. That's the feed, isn't it? You bet. That's the Lake Michigan baitfish alewife. They run all different year class and different sizes, anywhere from two inch up to about eight inch on size. And that's what the salmon and trout feed on on Lake Michigan. And right now, uh, the king's salmon fishing the last couple of years has improved greatly and they're getting larger in size because of more of these bait fish in Lake oh, Michigan, yeah. Greg. It's a high oil base, so the fish get fat on them quick, that's for sure. And right here's the spoons that uh, they like to try or like to troll here. That's basically mimicking that alewife. You'll see all kinds of different colors, but that's the magic of Lake Michigan right there. You betcha. Here we go. Yeah, we'll see. Can the old pro get him in? I don't know. God, I lose him. <laughs> no, what? no, he's still on there. Oh, he is still on there. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> They're in here. Yep. Nice mud water coming There's out up. of the Sheboygan Harbor. A lot of bait fish. Uh, looks really good this morning. Seagulls are working oh, yeah. in. Yeah. You've Big been time. hearing about them cohos all spring, too, haven't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's nice that they're here a little early, Greg. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They cover a lot of ground too, don't they? They do. They come from, oh man, started, Indiana to it, Illinois yeah, into it, Wisconsin yep. early in the season. Yep. Not bad. Oh, and so good to eat. Yeah. That'll be next. Gold, yeah. Oh, there, outside, outside, outside. Yeah, he's on there. Geo called for three on this pass, so. We just made the turn. So yeah, this... yeah, we're just starting it. Just made the turn, and we even have stained water out this far, which yeah, is nice. It's that's not good. crystal clear. It's that river water, Sheboygan River water, and that's what keep Greg keeps the bait in here too, with that little bit of cover yeah. on that stained water. It is nice though, being so close to basically the lodging right there, your place. Not a long run at all in the morning. You're fishing before you know it. There we go. Good one for the grill. Adding to the count. You got good it. Good job. Now he's racing Ooh, this way. Yeah, that's your favorite flasher fly yeah. combo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chartreuse <laughs> dot. It's been good today. Oh yeah, it's been a very nice. Good. Very good. Yeah, that sucker's been working today. Oh yeah, that and the spoons. Yep. Good coho combinations. Tinsel and chartreuse bright green. That's good for just about any fish. Tell you what, people love coming out here catching fishing, but uh, the lodging you got back on shore is, is awful nice too, Dump. Yeah, that's what's really nice here with Dumper Dan's. My outfit in Sheboygan is we have uh, the one stop shop. We have everything, Greg, right on the boardwalk, yep. the condos, pubs and grills, restaurants, um, our store. You can stop in, have a beverage, have a snack, have a pizza, uh, gather some apparel. We yep. do sell a lot of that there too. So park the car. You don't have to jump back in the car till you head back west, back home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a lot to do even from walking distance. Sheboygan, like you said, has got a lot of great restaurants and bars right there. Very scenic. Yep. Yeah. Nice little town and a great place to go fishing. The yellow one again. Yeah. Top of all that uh, good stuff to do in Sheboygan, your condos are great to stay in too right there. You betcha, they're right there, walking distance like we mentioned, and uh, park the car right by the condo, and they're nice and clean. They sleep up to six people per condo. We have multiple condos, multiple charter boats. Yep. Let's get this one in the net. Hang on, Alex. Right, Coming in hot. Coming in hot. 
Oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh, nice. Great way to wrap it up. Both divers on this side of the boat took off. We got two coho, Dumper Dan Daily Double. Tell you what, folks, it is a fun time out here catching these fish. They're great to eat. If you want to come out and catch them, Dump, what do you do? Give me a call. My cell phone, Dumper Dan Charters, 920-377-1147. I'll set you up with fishing if you need lodging. We have the Riverfront Store all on the boardwalk here in the Port of Sheboygan. DumperDan.com on the internet. Check out our Facebook page every day all summer long, posting pictures and videos. Summer's finally here. It's time to make your reservations and get out fishing. Dumper's got six boats to get you out. We've had a great day catching them today. For Zach, Dumper Dan himself, first mate Alex, and Captain Geo, of course. I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors is coming right up.